The Bourne Conspiracy is a new action game from Sierra in which you play as Jason Bourne, the spy gone rogue. Created by Robert Ludlum and the subject of many novels and popular movies. As you can see, the game is all about combat. We've got guns, we've got fisticuffs, it's all about a frantic face. Oh, I didn't even have time for that guy. You'll notice that's not Matt Damon. You won't see character likenesses from the movies here, but you will see similar action sequences. Born Conspiracy roughly follows the plot of The Born Identity, the first movie, but interspersed through the main action points from that movie are flashback missions. Fans of the movies may know Bourne as a supremely violent man who, nonetheless, is averse to gun combat. Well, that's just fine for us, because the thrill here is the hand-to-hand -hand action. Combat is fast and easy to get a grasp on. You've only got two attack buttons, light and heavy, and you chain them together in quick, three-hit combos. You can block... Oh, right in the neck! The real excitement comes with takedown, like that one. These are contextual action sequences you can activate once you've landed a few punches on a given foe. This guy gets a little bit fancy. Oh, your fancy pants kicks? How about you sit down? Sprinting takedowns, you won't even need to stop. You're not the only one trying to pull off takedowns. Enemies will often try to uncork them on you. That can be avoided by a quick button press, or else you're going to be eating nightstick. Takedowns are powered by your adrenaline meter, and charge it up enough and boom! Oh! Taking down two foes at once. When your fist meets a skull, or a rib cage, or any other part, it sounds fantastic. You really get the visceral thrill of the Bourne movie combat. Three on one, guys. This is hardly fair. For you. Oh! He ain't pretty no more. The culmination of all the awesomeness of the hand-to-hand -hand combat system are the boss fights. These are prolonged battle sequences against a super tough opponent who's just as likely to uncork a takedown on you as you are on him. He is just asking for some prolonged punishment. Each boss fight arena also features a weapon Bourne can use in a takedown. Now this isn't a weapon in the traditional sense, of course. This is a weapon that Bourne uses. And for Bourne, anything is a weapon. Books, shovels, and even a ballpoint pen. Oh, that has got to hurt. Boss arenas are veritable playgrounds for the takedown happy born, and you'll find yourself wanting to play them again and again and again. Who brings a knife to a fist fight? Really? Ah! Okay, you do. Sometimes your opponents don't fight fair, but then again, neither do you. Broken bones, smashed faces. It's all there, and it all sounds great. The flashback missions take us back to a time when Bourne was just gun happy as all get out. You can carry two guns at a time, one big one like a shotgun, and one small one like a little pistol. Gun takedowns, while not quite as spectacular as their hand-to-hand -hand counterparts, are still a satisfying, quick way to level your opponent. You can take cover behind objects, but a lot of objects are not great for taking cover behind. Like cars, because they'll explode. Fortunately, that works to your advantage if you've got a foe standing behind a car. It's fun and the environments respond well, but it doesn't really hold a candle to the hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Oh, punch so hard! But so good. Oh, boom! Oh! Property damage! Ah! 
While gunplay is reasonable and won't get tiresome on your first playthrough, the real reason to come to Born is the hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Oh. Man, is it satisfying. 